How's it going, everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now, these days we are getting more and more gaming keyboards with like RGB, more fancy looking designs, and also just a bunch of other features. Uh, but sometimes it kind of feels like the manufacturers don't really focus on making a good keyboard and just add all of these secondary features that kind of makes the keyboard not really that great. But now, what if you remove some of those extra secondary features or funky designs and instead use the money you would spend on those to focus more on making a good basic keyboard? Well, that's kind of now where Ducky comes in with their keyboards. And if you have used a Ducky keyboard before or you know of it, you know they are really awesome. Simple keyboards with just a simple design, great build quality, and just it does have all of the needed features. So here I have the Ducky 1 2 Midnight Edition that is retailing for around 1,400 Rand on Rebel Tech here in South Africa or $100 on Amazon. So for the Ducky 1-2 Midnight Edition, you do get it either in the standard 104 key layout plus four additional keys, uh, or you get the 10 keyless version for all of your tournament editions and so on. But there are also a bunch of more 1-2 models, some with different colors and some with lighting as well if you do need those. Also, just a mention to all my South African viewers, Rebel Tech is the only seller in South Africa that sells Ducky keyboards. So if you are looking to get a Ducky keyboard, definitely check out Rebel Tech. I will leave links in the video description. But now moving on, what really makes the Ducky keyboard so special? And just starting off with the design of the Midnight, it has a dark blue and black shell with black keycaps, either with a light blue or a pink engravings. You do also get a bunch of extra keycaps to spice it up a bit if you want to go for that. Midnight comes with purple ones, which really does make it look strange, but also really cool. Now, like I mentioned before, you're not really gonna get a crazy looking RGB keyboard. Instead, you get a simple design with an extremely sturdy build. The shell is made from ABS plastic with a steel plate inside, which does add a ton of durability, preventing almost any flex to the frame. This does cause the keyboard to weigh around a one kilogram, uh, but that just makes it actually feel more like a tank to me and I do prefer that. The keycaps are double shot in ejected PBT which is far more durable and higher quality than the standard ABS plastic keycaps uh, which we find on even most of the more expensive keyboards out there. You can certainly feel the difference under your fingers when typing or gaming and combining that with the Cherry MX switches that has over 50 million click life cycle you truly feel the difference uh, between uh, this keyboard keyboard and a lot of the others out there. Now as for the Cherry Max uh, switches, which we kind of all know, the model I have here uses Cherry Max red switches, but you do get them in blues, browns, blacks, and speed switches as well. So you can just choose which one you do prefer. The Midnight does also feature any key rollover, so you can press as many keys as you want at the same time, and all of the commands will be sent through. But I'll use just a quick sound test of how the Midnight's or Cherry Mix Red switches a sound with uh, that PBT keycaps. Now taking a look underneath the Midnight, you do get four anti-slip pads in the corners and then your two flip out keyboard feet, which does have two sets of height adjustments to get the exact height elevation that you would want. 
Also underneath you do get your four switches that depending on in which config will actually change the position of your FN key if you wanted a different layout for the keyboard. Just check out the manual because there's a bunch of different configs. Just look it out and see which one works for you. And then also you do get your cable raceway where you can neatly hide your cable and get it into the corner that you would want uh, just to help out cable management a bit. As for the cable, uh, the one two does have a 1.65 meter or 5.4 feet non-abraded detachable USB type C cable, which is truly awesome. Uh, we don't really see a lot of type C cables on keyboards these days. Hopefully we will see them more to come in the future, but the detachableness and being type C is really cool. You don't really have to worry uh, which way to plug the cable in, just connect it and you are set. Now moving on to some of the secondary functions you get with the Midnight. Uh, it's not as pronounced as you would see on most other gaming keyboards uh, where you have your volume controls, all of your profiles, your, uh, your macro controls and LED controls and all of that. This one you have to select it a bit more. But you do get your uh, volume adjustments and then also your calculator button in the top right corner. I honestly do love it when there's a calculator button. Button. I use mine all the time, so that's really awesome. Uh, you can also actually use your numpad as a mouse, which is first time I'm seeing this on a keyboard. It's cool. Uh, I won't really use it always, but it is definitely a feature that you might use once or twice. You can also lock your Windows key. Uh, you do have your different six different profiles, which you can switch between. And then finally, you can also record your own set of macros, either single keys or a multiple keys, uh, depending on what you want. So and just finally, in a conclusion, uh, I have heard a lot of uh, in good things about a Ducky before this review, but I haven't really ever used them before. I haven't really even used a, a keyboard that was just dedicated to making a good solid keyboard. Most of the stuff I review are again a gaming keyboards where they focus on making it look fancy uh, and just adding a ton of RGB and macros and just uh, all that craziness, uh, which is sometimes cool what you want but this is just a solid keyboard and that's that's what it is now I have heard from a lot of people and I've read online that people who do own a ducky keyboards just love their keyboards and I can definitely understand why this keyboard is truly amazing it's not gonna be for everybody if you do want your RGB ness and and just fanciness then this might not be for you but if you're looking for a solid keyboard that I believe is going to uh, last as long as you probably live, uh, then this is gonna be a really good option. Uh, if I remember right, also Luke from Linus Tech Tips, uh, his first review was from a, a Ducky keyboard. So that also just kind of shows that the people you who use Ducky keyboards do love them. So if you guys want to get the Ducky Midnight or some of the other Ducky keyboards uh, for yourself, I will leave links in the video description where you can find it on Rebel Tech if you live in South Africa. Again, that are the only sellers in South Africa selling these keyboards or Amazon if you want to get it from there. So with all of that being said, thanks for watching guys and I will check all of you next time. Cheers guys.